In this AutoCAD tutorial, I would like to uh, cover the basics of how the sweep tool works. So sweep is going to be found at the bottom of this menu on the home tab. So we've done extrude, loft, and revolve. And now we have sweep. Uh, sweep is somewhat similar to doing an extrude on a path. Um, you know, it's a same kind of idea um, and it can be really really useful um, and it's actually very easy to use. Okay so we're going to be doing the sweep. So I'm just going to draw a very simple path to illustrate how this works and I'm just going to do it in my top view and what I'm going to do is just even you know at this point use line to create a very you know simple path so this could be you know if you're creating something you know very elaborate or something very simple like trim around a window you have a lot of options so I'm just going to click and you know just start drawing a little bit so maybe I'm coming up um, five feet you know just to give you an idea of how large this is and I'm just going to you know maybe even arbitrarily click at this point you know I'm not making anything um, real specific so you know, you can imagine how intricate this could become. So this is just with straight line segments, but if I wanted to, I could curve this um, by converting it to a spline or something, or, you know, even if you just want to keep it simple, you know, if I came in and, you know, put a circle here or there and trim it out, you know, as I've done in some of the previous videos, you know, it, it would give you the same idea. So I'm just going to uh, grab my trim tool, and just trim those out and erase those couple of extra segments. And now the important thing here is no matter what your path is like, we're going to want it to be a polyline. So if we didn't draw this with a polyline, we're just going to go into Modify, pick Join, and join all of this together. That's going to be really important. If we don't do that, when we try to do the sweep, it will stop at the first uh, line segment change. So it will uh, be rather frustrating. So that's all connected together into one long continuous polyline, making a nice path. And now what we're going to do is put whatever shape we want on the end. This could be, you know, just about anything you want. You know, if I just did a simple circle on the end, and it's about, you know, nine inches, that'll work. You know, if I wanted to make it a little more interesting, I could, of course, come in, you know, add something to it, do a trim like we've been doing. You know, that's really up to you. And then I'll do a join to join all that together, but just the shape, I'm not joining it to the path itself. Okay, but once you get whatever it is that you're looking for, what we're going to do is come up and do a sweep. So when we pick sweep, we pick the object that we are hoping to create. So I'm doing this circle here. Then I hit enter, and then we pick the path. So first you pick the object, hit enter, then you pick the path and it will sweep it along. And then we can see that over here in my isometric view that happens to be in conceptual. How even though when I started my shape was laying on the ground, it now flipped it up and swept it along the path. What's really nice about this is it's a bit more forgiving than extruding on a path. When you extrude on a path, that uh, profile and the path need to be perpendicular for it to work properly. With sweep, they can be the same orientation, and it will just shoot along uh, the path like that. So you have a lot of creative possibilities with something like sweep.